this video, you will get a peek at what running a native application test is like with the Sauce Labs platform. If you're testing a native application, you will need to upload the application file to storage that Sauce Labs can run the test against. The simplest way to do this is to upload the latest version of your app to Sauce Labs Storage. To upload your apps to Sauce Labs Storage, sign in to Sauce Labs and navigate to Live, then Mobile App, then click the App Upload button. Upload your .apk files for Android applications or an IPA file for an iOS application. To run tests on iOS web browsers, you would upload a .zip file. After you upload your app, you will be able to see it in the list here. If you hover over the app and click on Settings, you can view important details of the test, such as the test ID number, and copy it to your clipboard. So you can add that value into the capabilities of your test. Once you have your native app uploaded for testing, you will go into your test code and set capabilities for running on Sauce Labs. This is a demo of Appium tests and test code will run from a local machine. Espresso and XCUI tests can be uploaded and run on the Sauce Labs platform. You should already have capabilities in your test to set up the environment and browser you will run your test in. For an Appium test, there are also additional capabilities to set for the Appium framework. There are also capabilities that are specific for native app tests. You will need to add in additional capabilities to communicate information to Sauce Labs. Let's take a look at some of the different types of capabilities. For a web app test, you would set capabilities such as the browser name and version, as well as the operating system you would like to run a Selenium test on. Web and native application tests with Appium have similar capabilities. In the Appium capabilities, you can see you also have the device and platform name, as well as the ID of the app that identifies its storage location, as well as the Appium version. The last piece of the puzzle is the SAUS URL, as well as SAUS specific capabilities. You will choose the data center that you want to run your tests against and use a different URL for each, passing in your SAUS access key and username as well. When running your tests on SAUS Labs, some capabilities are optional, while some are required. You're required to send your browser name, version, platform, SAUS username, and access key in order to run a test. There are other capabilities, such as the test name, the build, proxy tunnel information, extended debugging, and performance that are optional to send along. Now that we have the app uploaded and the capabilities set, let's see our test in action. Navigate to the automated test results page to see your test as it starts running. On my local machine, I'm going to open up my IDE with my Selenium Appium test. I'll run the commands to start my test from my local machine. And now on the automated test results page under real devices, you'll be able to see your native app test running. As it's running, you'll get a play by play of real time interactions. Once your test is run, you can go to the test results details page to get commands, logs, screenshots, and more information about how your test ran and how you can debug. To learn more about how to run automated tests on Sauce Labs, visit training.saucelabs.com.